Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I have my base coat down and it is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents uh, Champagne. Very pretty color. Let's go over the balance of my paints. I have Amsterdam Brilliant Blue. I have Amsterdam Expert and this is called Permanent Matter Lake. It's their expert line. Very pretty color. Pavio. I have their iridescent blue black. I have Deco Art Metallics, their pearl. I have another uh, Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents, and this is their Rich Brown. And I believe that's it. Yes, that's it. And what I'm going to do is just lay a ribbon of paint, and then I am going to smear over it. And my smear color is the um, Amsterdam Oxide Black. The pouring medium for that is three parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part paint. So let me show you consistency of the paint I'm using today. Here is that Matter Lake by Amsterdam. Very pretty color. So I'm just going to go ahead and start laying down my paints. This is just kind of an experiment today. I think I'll lay it in a few places here. That's that rich brown color. Here is the pearl. Here's that brilliant blue, and that is by Amsterdam. It looks like I forgot the pearl here. I'm going to add the pearl to this one also. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Today is one of our first days. We did not have a whole bunch of rain, which was nice. And this is that Matter Lake. I've been drawn to using a lot of red lately. Such a pretty vibrant color. Okay, and this is that bluish black and it has such a pretty shimmer to it. Hopefully when I bring you down for a close up, you'll be able to see that. Let's see if I can show you, very pretty, just a real nice shimmer there to that paint. Okay, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this Matter Lake here. And then I think I will do a quick torch. And I think I am just going to um, gonna add just a little bit more of my base coat just to help that paint move a little bit because I'm going to be tipping after I do my smears.
I want to thank everyone for spending time with me here today on this little video. And especially if you have any comments or questions, please leave them. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. So I think I'm going to start out with just uh, my smaller palette knife here. And I'll just uh, clean my palette knife off after every schmear that I do here. Getting nice cells coming up and hopefully that will equal nice lacing. I've watched a lot of Gail Burstyn, Life and Splatters. She does a lot of these schmears. Really am liking the colors so far. One more will do it. Okay. And I think I will give it a quick torch before I start tipping. Tipping, I'm trying to um, pull out some of these lacing areas. See what kind of effects we can get here. My paint is running very nice here. And hopefully you are seeing most of this tipping going on here. Going to bring it back down. Can have a look at it here now. I'm really, really liking what I see so far. And I think I'm just going to tip a little bit more down to this corner. Just pulling some of that lacing. Oh, 
bring it back. Okay, I'm going to have another look here. I do like what's going on in this area here. And that's so pretty up there, that, that Matter Lake. It came through with the uh, pearl to make that pink color. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paper towels. Just cutting them here quick. And I'm going to just dip them in my swipe color here, my cell activator. Actually, I'm going to double this one over. And I'm just going to see if I can add a little interest here on the edge of this. Something like that. You can see all those cells that I just added. I'll try this over here. I really do like that. That's very pretty. I'm going to give it another try up at the top. I'm trying to go along the lines that are already formed here. What I think I'm going to do also is, just playing with my painting here, I'm going to add a little bit more of this red here. And then I'm going to take my paper towel. Dip it again and just run it along that line I just added. Something like that. Very nice. I think I'll try that again up in this area. And do a little tip there. Bring it back. Okay. Just, just looking at if I think any other areas could be enhanced a little bit. I think I'll try that up in this corner here. 
can always play with your painting. Something like that. And I think I may even add a little bit more of this red in this area. Something like that. Okay, I'm drawing my paper towel down yet. Okay. I'm really, really liking this and I uh, think I'll give it another torch and then I will get you down. Well, first of all, I'm going to take my skewer. I'm not quite done playing with it yet. Let's see if we can just draw some lines out here. Just give it a little more interest. I am wiping my skewer off every, after every time that I draw my paint out. Okay, one more torch. And let's get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up. I'm trying to get you to be able to see the whole painting here. And this is the upper left hand corner I got a lot of really beautiful lacing here today just going down the left hand side and that's the lower left hand corner and again this was a little 12 by 12 inch canvas this is the area that I liked where it came out pink you can really see all the shine in this metallic paint. It's a nice area in here. Some more nice lacing here. There's where I added some of those lines just for a little more interest on the painting. I did get some negative space, which I really like. Little more lacing there. Pretty in here too. This is the lower right hand corner. It's taking you up the right hand side. And here's the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and share it. If you like it, make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Thank you again for spending time with me here today. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.